We're down here. Let's first start off with the fight we're promoting right at this moment. King Kong just had his workout. He's fighting a Dante Wilder in the rematch in a few weeks. What do you think about Wilder? His body, I mean, um, Ortiz, his body physique looks uh, a little more toned, we'll say. This is the best shape that I've ever seen him in. I noticed that uh, when we were going to the, we were, actually, we were on the same flight going to uh, the press conference in L.A. And I saw him, I didn't even recognize him. He walked, I said, damn, I said, he looked slim and fit and trim. And then that's when I found out that he was, he was working with Coach Wade and I said, okay. Now, I know one thing's for sure, I can guarantee the fans, and you can mark it down, Ortiz will be in the best shape of his entire life. And I'm not just saying that, um, he's always in, in good shape, but he will be in great shape. And I think that will make a difference in, in the action in the fight. I think that this will be a faster paced fight, and I think the fight will end in a knockout. The first fight obviously did end in a knockout, but there was a lot of drama leading up to that. Ortiz went down a couple times. Wilder in the seventh round, if there would have been 30 more seconds, he may not have made it out of the round. Um, do you think that that extra conditioning could be the key that someone like Ortiz could actually pull off this upset? Well, anything's possible. We, we, we've seen that 2019 has been the year of the upset, and that's what makes for great fights. Uh, we know that we will see the best version of Ortiz, and I guarantee we're going to see the best version of Wilder. And the best man will win on that night. We know what Wilder brings to the table. Uh, he's defended his, uh, his WBC title um, a number of times. And he's always looking to fight the best guys that are out there. And again, that's why I have a great deal of respect for him. Because he's putting, he's putting it all on him. He's putting it all. He wants to fight all the top guys that are out there. And he's not overlooking any, any of them. But first thing first, he has a tough challenge in front of him on November 23rd uh, with Ortiz. And Ortiz is looking to fuck the whole thing up. Mm -hmm. You know, upset the whole apple cart. He knows that that, that contracts are signed to, for uh, Wilder and Fury to be fighting on February 22nd. And he's looking to disrupt the whole thing. And he has a great opportunity to do that. Will he get it done? Tune in to oh. Fox Pay-Per-View, November 23rd. But just to, to talk on that, before both Fury and Wilder had their next fights. Obviously, Wilder's hasn't happened. They were going to take interim fights. Or, no disrespect to Aldo Walling, but he's not Luis Ortiz. It seems like Wilder has, it's a big risk. He could have fought someone like Aldo Walling instead to, you know what I mean, to ensure that he gets to February 22nd. But that's where I think that a lot of people make mistakes when they, they're saying, oh, this guy. These guys, Walling came in, he, he, fought the, yeah, he, he fought the fight of his life. Cut his eye. And, and, and again, anytime you get two heavyweights sitting in there, anything can happen. And that's why you can't overlook anybody. Anybody. And, and, and you know, both, both, all these guys, they get in there and they work their behind off and they get in the best shape of their life. And, you know, the bet, may the best man win. Let's um, jump till tomorrow. We got a big um, showbox card. Quadruple header, I believe. Just talk about um, that. That's a, you know, most showbox cards are Huge. Two, three fights. You got four. Huge. Again, and thank you to Steven Espinosa. Um, I can't, I can't thank him enough for uh, giving us another opportunity uh, to have a, a big event on um, on Showtime. This is this will be the biggest Showbox card of the year, um, headlined by um, none other than our uh, junior lightweight, um, excellent young prospect, and Xavier Martinez. He'll be in fighting in the main event. He has a a, a, a very tough fight. Um, then we have in our co-main event, we have Richardson Hitchens. Uh, that, that I'm really, really excited for him. This is this will be his coming out party. A lot of people have kind of seen him on some of our um, uh, shows that we've streamed. You know, in some of our early fights, this is his. He'll be making his debut, uh, his televised debut, and and he has a very, very tough competitor in front of him. And then uh, we have Kevin Newman. He'll be fighting in a rematch of a fight that he fought um, on Floyd's undercard of uh, Conor McGregor. Um, and then in, in the opening fight, we have Rondo Romero. So we have four of our top young prospects that will be uh, featured on the show, Showbox uh, broadcast. And we're just really, really excited. Uh, and again, we have a terrific undercard, too, with Ava Knight. She'll be uh, coming back to, uh, to the boxing ring, coming off of her... Uh, 
her kick-ass fight on Bellator. Um, and then we have um, our young recent signee out of, um, out of Baltimore, uh, Calvin Ford, has a, a number of young gems down there in, in the Uptown Boxing Gym in Baltimore. And we, we getting them all. Um, and Malik Warren, he'll be making his Mayweather Promotions uh, debut. Um, and again, we have uh, Dylan Price, another, another one of our rising young prospects. Very, very excited to see him back in action. And again, from top to bottom, this is going to be the best showbox car of the year.